guys, welcome to this video. Um, we're going to be covering extending our uh, stat modifier class that we created in the last video. And now we're going to be creating a new stat, and this is going to be our attribute class. Um, it's going to be probably the main uh, class we'll be using for our stats. We'll be adding um, some a decent amount of functionality to it. And um, we'll just extend it for a couple other smaller stats later on. But for now, let's get started and let's create our RPG attribute class. So in our stats type folder, let's create a new C Sharp script and we'll be calling this RPG attribute. Let's open this on up and here we go. A uh, couple things we'll do off. We don't need any of the Unity methods, and this will be inheriting from our RPG step modifiable class that we created in the last video. Um, for now, this is what we're going to do. We're going to jump back into Unity, and our RPG attribute, this one is going to be our class that actually changes its value based on a character's given level or uh, some level of or value you supply to it. Um, so we're going to create an interface because you may want other stats later on that do the same thing. But for now, let's create an iStat scalable class because it can scale with a value. We'll open this on up. And this is going to be a really simple interface. And again, we can remove all the methods and we're not going to inherit anything since it's interface and we'll change from a class to interface. And here, we're going to have one method. And it's going to be void. Uh, let's see, how about scale stat? And this will take a integer and I'm just going to call this level for the sake of it. And that's all we're going to have in our iScalable uh, interface. So we can jump back to our RPG attribute, open this on up, and in here we're going to have a couple little things. First off, we'll implement our interface. So I stat scalable, and we'll do our fancy little trick. Implement an interface. And in here, this is a really simple, well, this is our method that's going to be determine how this level affects our statutes value. To do this, I'm going to create a few values. Let's create a by private integer. And I'm going to call this um, stat, um, how about scale value, or no, stat level, hmm. Let's go stat level value for this one. Uh, could probably be better, but uh, for the time now, it'll work. Um, and then we'll create a public property for this stat level value, because you may want to know how much your level is affecting your base stat. And we'll just return our stat level value. Now, the real magic of this. We want to apply this to our attribute value but if you remember, um, let me open this up, our RPG stat. We have two of these properties in here. We have our stat value and our stat base value. As we know from the last video, our modifying stat changes our stat value and how it uses. It actually uses the stat base value or the stat value in the calculating. So we want to actually change how this stat base value is used. So we're going to be overriding our stat base value property. And while we're here, I just realized this should not be using stat base value. This should actually be using the property because we're going to be changing that later on. Um, now let's we can jump back into our HP class. And in here, we're going to do public override int, and we're going to change our base value. And we do not need a set value. We're actually going to do uh, a little bit of formatting first, because I like it clean. 
but it's going to be the stat base value from the base class plus our property of stat level value. So this will get our change or our level value from our scale stat scale method, which we calculated in, and add it to our base value, which will be used in our other classes, such as our RPG stat modifiable class, in calculating how modifiers apply to our attribute. So in our scale stat, I'm going to do really simple calculations of getting how our stat changes with a level. So in here, we're going to set our stat level value. And I'm going to do some really simple calculations. And that's going to be equals level. So at level 1, our stat level value will be 1. And then 10, it'll be 10, and so on. So if our base value is, let's say, 5, and then we scale our stat to level 5, we will get a base of 5 plus our stat level value of 5, and our end attributes value will be 10. So that is the very basics of our attribute class. That is pretty much all we need for this. But before we get leave, let's jump over to our RPG stats class, and I'm going to add additional two over here. I'm going to add stamina. I'll just set this to how about 10? And wisdom. Set this to 11. Now these are going to be main attributes for our class or our, um, our stat collection. So back into Unity. And I'm going to open up our stats default. And in here, I'm going to add on and create our two new stats. So we have stamina equals creator gets stat. And this one's going to be an RPG attribute. And we'll do our same setup as our other classes or our other stats. Stamina dot stat name. And stamina dot stat base value. We'll say 10. And I'm just going to copy and paste this real quick so I can get the wisdom out of the way. Wisdom. Wisdom over here, there, and there. And we'll copy paste for the name. So these are going to be our two attributes. Fun stuff. So now they're going to be both. Well, I'm going to change this one, let's say five. So there's that. Now, let's jump over to our RPG stat test file we had last time. And I'm going to, let's see, I'm just going to remove our modifier. Actually, I'm going to leave the modifier stuff here for now. And in here, since we'll have our health, all, all our stats displayed twice. I'm going to grab our var stamina from our stats get stat. Oops, did not want that. Stats dot get stat. And we're going to, we want an attribute. And we want the attribute that goes along with stamina. So in here, we go stamina dot scale level scale stat. And this will be, let's scale it by about 16. Nice number. But anyway, so since our stamina base value, if we go back to our default stat, look here, our stamina's base value is 10. So if we scale it to, let's say, level 16, and our really complex scaling equation, it should end up with 10 plus 16, which should be 26. So if we jump into Unity, into our test scene, or let's see, do we not have testing? Um, we'll just toss our test script onto any object and then run it. 
and it should display all our information we want to see. So these first four values here, we have health 100, mana 2000, stamina 10, and wisdom 5. We come down here, our stamina is 26, like we thought. So it's scaling correctly based on the value we give it. And that's pretty much all our scalable interface is going to do and how our attribute is going to work. So for your own attributes later on, you could easily, oops, let me jump back into attribute. You could easily change out this scale stat. So we may want, you may want to add your own classes later on for this RPG attribute. So we'll just make the scale stat virtual. So later on when you're making your own classes that inherit from RPG attribute, you can just simply override the scale stat method and add your own equation and it'll simply work that way. Or you can make your own class and implement the interface for stat scalable, do all this, and then you can easily call this stat scalable. Also, one last thing before this video is over, let's jump back to our test. And you'll see this a lot more later on in our videos when we actually implement some other testing functions. But here we go, we can get our stat. Let's change this to RPG stat, just the base class. So now we're getting an error saying the scale stat is not actually implement this because we think we have a stat. So if you're actually implementing your own classes and not following along with some of the setup here, you can simply do the following. So in here, we're gonna go stat, scalable, and let's call this stat scalable, simple. And set this instance of this interface to stamina, as I stat scalable. So now we're just getting a, we're just setting typecasting stamina to I stat scalable. So the trick here is if stamina implements I stat scalable, this variable will not be null. So we'll actually have it there. So we can simply check that I stat scalable does not equal null. And inside this if statement, if it's not null, we can go stat scalable dot scale stat 16. So this will call the interface method from your class if you don't know if it actually implements the stat scalable. So if we jump back into Unity, this should give us the same results. So here, our stamina is 10. Down here, our stamina is 26 after we add scale to stat. Cool, there you go. That is the start of our RPG attribute class. In the next video, we'll be extending the RPG att attribute class one more time. And this time, we're gonna be able to link the values of different attributes together to have them modify each other and do some crazy things along those lines. Okay, until next video, hope this was helpful.